When we bring the children outside, they get to have a lot of experiences that they wouldn't normally be able to have in the classroom. So those first-hand experiences of being able to see things, being able to touch things, and as you saw, we bring the children in to collect items from the outside, bring them into the dome, and we can all sit in there and have a look and talk about where they've come from and the environment around us. Bringing the children into the dome definitely helps to engage all of the children. They're so excited about coming in and when we say we're going into the solar dome, it's just absolute excitement in the room, it's lovely. The children absolutely love the dome. We don't just bring them in here for lesson time, I bring them in for story times, for eating their fruit and it's just a nice escape for them to go out to another space, be outside but obviously being in the dome we can still come outside in the winter when the weather's not as good. I definitely think the dome inspires the teaching staff and the children. The children are so excited when they see the dome and we try and incorporate into into our planning as much as possible. We come in and do music and drama and like today's lesson as well, just talking about the seasons and the different things that they see outside really. Parents think it's amazing and incredible and we really chose it because it would be an inspirational environment for them to, to use alongside this wonderful school and it just added that futuristic element to the grounds. It adds an inspirational environment that's outside of the building. We've got plenty of space at the moment but we want to bring the children outside so that they're living outdoor learning. We're not just saying it, it's another step out into the environment and we thought that this dome would provide that space. Not every child enjoys running around in a boisterous environment so it will be a lovely safe nurturing space but we also are using it for our forces club. We do a year five rainforest topic we decided that there was nothing locally that was a rainforest so we decided to create our own little mini Eden project. The students love it because obviously there's lots of things to see and because of the different layers there's things hidden so we've got chilli plants, we've got uh, courgettes growing, we've got um, different flowering plants so they can see, we've got vines growing over the top so that obviously there's a canopy. It's a really big space so there's room for a whole class if we want to sit down and draw whereas if you want to do more sort of scientific things when you're looking at the temperature and the effect when everything's shut up and how hot it gets then you can work with small groups so it's very flexible you can use it in so many different ways. We can get so many different subjects using the area we must have five or six different departments at different times of the year, depending on the weather and what they're after doing. Um, we even get outside companies coming in. We have the Allotment Society coming in to do lessons on pruning, lessons on potting on for the kids, even for some adults as well. I would describe the area as a mini Eden project because we've got three different climates set up in the domes. We've got the aquatic ecosystem. We're linking one of the domes to the pond and we're doing aquaponics so we're going to feed the plants with the fish waste from the pond and they will the plants will filter out the waste for the to clean the pond water. 